In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to plot electrostatic complementarity, or EC maps, for proteins and ligands in FLIR, and calculate EC scores for protein ligand complexes. EC maps give a visual indication of how well a ligand's electrostatics match those in the corresponding protein. This can help inform decisions as to how ligand functionality might be changed to improve protein ligand binding. I've loaded PDB entry 5CGC and three ligands with different activity at this target. To generate EC surfaces for the ligands relative to their associated protein, I need to select them, then go to the ligand tab, hit the all button, and click on the Electrostatic Complementarity to Protein option. Areas coloured green show perfect complementarity, while red areas display electrostatic clashes. We can see that successive addition of electron withdrawing substituents to the phenyl ring makes its electrostatic nature more complementary to the protein. Electrostatic complementarity surfaces can also be generated for proteins. I firstly need to select the protein or parts of the protein the surface should be generated on, then go to the protein tab and hit the all surface button. I need to select electrostatic complementarity as the surface colour, then select the ligand to be included in the EC calculation. Other settings such as the colour, transparency, and quality of the surface can be changed. Activity data for this ligand and an analogue that is fluorinated on the pyrazole ring indicates the latter is moderately less active. If we view both EC maps together, we can see that the addition of a fluorine substituent has increased the electrostatic clash in the region of the protein around the pyrazole. Thus, EC maps could have predicted the lower activity. As well as the visual maps, EC scores measuring how complementary a molecule is to its binding site can be rapidly calculated. Select the desired ligands, go to the ligand tab and hit the electrostatic complementarity button. Three different values are calculated and reported in the ligands table, ranging from 1, perfect complementarity, to minus 1, perfect clash. Each takes different characteristics into account, allowing you to pick the value that best suits your protein. Evaluate FLARE to see for yourself how electrostatic complementarity surfaces and scores can help inform your research.